This is a monument to Andre Shaptitsky. And I would hoped that maybe this narrative would um, dissipate, but it isn't. So I guess kind of like constant gardening, I'm going to have to address this again. Why am I pointing out um, Andre uh, Shaptitsky? Well, because Andre Shaptitsky was a huge figure on the Ukrainian stage at the exact same time that the big boogeyman of Stepan Bandera was on the Ukrainian stage. But the Russians will not give you the narrative, nor will those who support Russian propaganda give you the narrative of Metropol Andrei Shiptitsky or his brother Klimitsky, because they were uh, also Ukrainian nationalists. They believed in an uh, independent Ukrainian nation state, but they were men of peace, great men of peace, and they are revered not only here in Ukraine, but in Israel. Klimitsky was given the status of most favored among nations uh, in uh, Israel. Uh, and the reason I bring it up is also this. Ukraine is not a monolith. It is not one single thing. It is a multiplicity of beliefs, of origins, of, of peoples. So, you know, I bring up the argument, would you, as an American, say, uh, agree to the bombing of Austin, Texas because of the Proud Boys? Or if you're a Brit, would you uh, 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 support the bombing of Birmingham uh, simply because the EDL exists. Well, no. Ukraine is not one thing. And so all Ukrainians do not deserve to suffer at the hands of Russian aggression simply because there are elements within this, this country that are deplorable. And equally, it's not, a, it's not a paradise. There's a lot of work that needs to be done. But as I hear the air raid sirens here in Lviv, I ask you, do you support bombing innocent people who have nothing to do? Maybe they're completely apolitical and don't have anything to do with any of this. But they're suffering right now. We're under threat, constant threat from Russian bombs because they would have you believe that everybody is a supporter of Bandera or a Nazi. What about the Shiptitskis? What about the peaceful people of Ukraine who have nothing to do with any of the more ugly sides of our human nature. Slava Ukraina. Geroyim Slava.